I am obviously a big fan of surveillance video because it gives us so much information. But if you're trying to obscure the fact that things aren't exactly what you said they were, it can bite you. Today's episode is supported by DroneQuote, a veteran-owned business that's a champion for homeowners in the solar and roofing world. These guys are all about honesty, integrity, and doing what's right for the customer. They get you multiple quotes from top installers backed by a 30-year warranty. They even use drones to inspect your roof before and after installation to hold installers accountable. If you value straight answers and want an advocate on your side, don't go solar without DroneQuote, your dedicated homeowner advocates for solar installations nationwide. Hit the link in the description to find out more. Hi everyone, welcome to today's lesson here at Active Self Protection, where every day we post a real life defensive use of force caught on camera to make our training and practice more evidence-based. I am your host, John Correa. Today's video comes to us from the town of Kelowna in British Columbia, Canada. There's some controversy on this one because the shop owner who's behind the counter here is, uh, this woman has apparently come in and made an order and then asked for a free glass of water or something instead, uh, like it wasn't an order, but just wanted a free glass of water. And our owner's gonna be like, no, I don't wanna give you a free glass of water if you're not gonna order anything. So then she calls him a racial slur, according to him. And his response to that is to throw the empty water cup at her. Well, she comes back and throws the creamer container and the milk container at him instead, which makes him go around the counter and, and come back around to her and chase her around a little bit, punch her there, okay, kick her there. That's not a great look right there. <clears throat> and then again, gonna argue with her a little bit, tell her to get out of the store. She decides she doesn't wanna get out of the store. So this is gonna go on for quite some time. If you go read the news stories that I have linked in the description, he, the way he kind of originally characterized this wasn't exactly what the video shows, okay? It didn't show him uh, making the first kind of physical assault. Well, she's gonna grab a bunch of stuff off the counter and throw it at him and then attack him a little bit. Well, he is going to attack her back. Now they're gonna go off camera from this particular perspective, but you can see him wailing a tune on her and we have another perspective of it here. As they go into mutual combat, and she is gonna then run kind of off, not run, but at least retreat a little bit away from the guy, but not leave. And I don't understand why she went like that, but they go even off camera from there a little bit. Now he's gonna come back uh, on camera and kind of towards his store, and I think tell her to get the heck out and this and that. And I'm letting this play on regular speed because I just want you guys to see kind of how this all plays out. There was a jump there that was from them, not from me. She's gonna walk back behind his counter a little bit and she's gonna decide, oh, okay, well, he's not violent anymore. Let's chip at him some more a little bit verbally and that'll make him come back around and reinitiate the conversation and the problems that they're having. Thankfully, at least there's no violence right now. Now, why isn't anybody calling the cops? Well, we'll talk about that in the lessons. Now, if she's gonna kind of continue to wander around, she's gonna decide, you know, I should throw some more stuff at the guy. Let's, let's toss some of his scones at him here and see how much damage and how much you know, product we can destroy in his store and how much of a mess we can make in his store. Well, guess what? He doesn't like that. He's gonna eventually take umbrage as she picks stuff up off the floor and throws it and that's it. He's kind of had it. So he is then going to tackle her to the ground and then do a little ground and pound on her. If you go watch the uh, interview that he gave uh, and hit the link in the description for that, he says, he goes, yeah, I shouldn't have done that. That wasn't very good and I'm not a perfect person. So at least he recognizes that he has some problems in this one. That's good. Uh, he said also that uh, the police are gonna eventually show up here, but notice how long it takes. And, and he said he has not heard from them since he filed his initial complaint. And my guess is he probably won't. They're gonna decide, is this woman gonna be willing to press charges on him? Is he gonna be willing to press charges on her? Finally, a security guard shows up and gets them to stop wailing a tune on each other and wait for the cops to arrive. And eventually the cops are going to arrive and split them up. But if you go read the news stories I've linked in the description, this business owner has faced significant backlash because his initial story and then the uh, surveillance video that we have here don't match. And uh, the, the video got released later. And so people think he's a liar and they've stopped visiting his shop and it's cost him a ton of business. Oh man, the news stories on this one really changed the tone of what the original guy said he was victimized and all that stuff, but the surveillance footage doesn't back that up. Lying to the cops and lying to the news about stuff says you're not a good, sane, sober, moral, prudent person, and that, friends, is not okay. 
I gotta say, it's 2024, and as we kind of get started on this one, I, I don't know all the truth of, did she ask for a freebie without buying something? I mean, if I was gonna ask for a glass of water, I'd certainly buy something to go with it, and that's just being a decent person, right? Oh, okay, cool, man, let me get a coffee and a water, or let me get you know a, a breakfast sandwich and a, and a water, or something like that. Now, she may not have any money. Okay, fine. But now I, I'm just gonna assume here for the moment that he is correct and he is honest that she used a racial slur at him. What the heck, people? It's 2024, that's completely unacceptable behavior, okay? Completely unacceptable behavior. Now, I, I get it, I'm Gen X and when I was a kid, my grandparents, quite frankly, were a little bit racist, okay? Even my parents at times could use racist, you know, racist terminology. We're better than that in 2024. We gotta completely get away from that. There is literally no cause for it. It's highly offensive. It is immoral to do. So, so that being true, if, if not, and he just decided he wanted to throw something at her, well then he's completely in the wrong. But otherwise here, throwing a racial slur at somebody is going to evoke a response and it should evoke a response, okay? And, and, and using racial epithets at people is crazy offensive and, and can and will bring people to the point of violence. I don't think that's right, right? People use words, we, adults use words and we don't throw fists at words. But people are stupid and they will do that stuff. So him then throwing at her, throwing a cup at her for that is wrong too, okay? Just because she did a wrong doesn't mean he can retaliate and raise the conflict. It was a verbal conflict. So if, if he wants to have a verbal fight with her and she calls him a name and he calls her a name and now we're in kindergarten, okay, fine. But him throwing the cup escalates this from verbal to physical. He's the one who initiated the physical conflict. And so this is morally wrong on his part. He could be charged with assault for this because he's the one who initiated the physical conflict. Now, is a cup a big deal? No. I will say her grabbing the creamer and throwing it back, you know, those are those big kind of, you know, aluminum containers probably full of milk and cream and those things, so it's heavy and metal. Uh, those could do some damage. And, and I, I would still probably argue that that's ordinary force, but it's bordering on likely to, to give you a concussion. If it hits you in the head, the thing probably weighs three, four pounds, something like that, fully, you know, fully, completely full of milk. And so that could, and that's morally wrong too. And her throwing a fit here is, is crazy. I don't understand why, okay, this guy's just throwing something at you. Cool, man, I'm leaving the store and I want gone, okay? She should have just left the store, called the cops, let them figure it out. She doesn't for whatever reason. Now he's chasing her around and punches her and kicks her? This is not moral behavior, friends. This is just not okay. She is walking away from him and he is continuing to physically assault her. I don't even care if he's offended from the racist remarks. It doesn't justify continuing to punch and kick someone. This is just two bad actors doing bad actor things and then trying to justify it in the end. So, so why hasn't she left? Why hasn't he broken contact? Get out of my store. I don't wanna talk to you anymore. I'm gonna get behind the counter. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go back into my break room if I need to. And I get it, so people are gonna be like, oh, then she'll destroy the store. Okay, well, it's better than assault charges, better than what's to come here because him continuing things makes her toss the, everything in the store, cost him all this inventory, cost him the cleanup stuff. And now they're in mutual combat. And, and goodness sakes, what in the world justifies this? And, and of course, they both fight like schoolyard kids, right? Neither of them have any fighting capabilities whatsoever. And I'm glad for that because they're unlikely to hurt each other. Uh, but if you're this bad at fighting, I would strongly recommend you not get in fights to be quite honest with you. And, and you know what the reality is? You know, again, we've got 3.4 million people on uh, the Ask YouTube channel, the main one. And, and listen, you know, I get it. Everybody feels like they know how to fight. The, the reality is the vast majority of people don't uh, and don't have any training in fighting and haven't ever actually had anybody swing a punch at them with an ill intent. And th those are all good things. But if that's you, and you gotta be honest with yourself about that, and watching UFC is not training to fight, then you don't wanna get in stuff like this, okay? You wanna instead, and you don't wanna get in stuff like this even if you have. Instead, you wanna be the good, sane, sober, moral, prudent person and de-escalate conflicts. I just don't see any attempt at de-escalation here. And hey, I've got a woman assaulting me and tearing my store up. <clears throat> it should bring the cops around eh, relatively quick. Say she's tearing the store up, maybe not. Tearing the store up and assaulting me, you're probably gonna get them to show up pretty fast. 
<clears throat> so I really think that the answer here is de-escalation, not accepting the invitation to fight, and that's true on both sides. Now, I will say here, as he throws her down on the ground and ground and pounds her and punches her in the face, this paints him in a very bad light. Her being grounded like this with him on top of her and him raining punches down on her, again, he's a man, she's a woman, he's bigger than her too. So, so there's two-factor disparity of force there. And that two-factor disparity of force, him being bigger than her, stronger than her, male, all three of those say, okay, wait a minute, those punches could very well put her in the hospital. So if she'd pulled a gun here, now it's Canada, no guns, but, but had she done so, that, that could have been justified conduct. In fact, in that case, I probably think it would have because she's tried to withdraw several times. Now, she would have big problems because she's throwing stuff at him and those things. So I don't think any defense she mounted would be pure as the wind-driven snow in a slam dunk either. These are kind of real self-defense encounters. And I get involved in ones like this pretty regular as an expert witness because they all got some stink on them. Who's the bad guy? Who's the good guy? What was the reality of things? Who was right and who was wrong in this? There's a lot of mess to go around. Don't get caught in these messes, friends. Be a good person instead. Sane, sober, moral, prudent, so that you don't end up in cuffs like these folks were. You don't end up with the social media backlash. Use your head. Stay out of fights. It's the best way to cover your ass.